start your blue dog piece of artwork, you are going to draw in pencil. This way you can erase anything that doesn't go quite right. Um, on your table, you will find a blue dog step-by-step -step drawing. You are welcome to use that if you want, or you can just draw from your head. You are welcome to turn your dog into a blue dog, or come up with a different, different kind of dog, or turn it a different angle, or make two or three, whatever you want. However, if you would like and feel like you need help, there is the drawing sheet on the table for you. After you've drawn your blue dog, you're gonna wanna add all the details to make it really, really fun. Almost like putting a costume on your dog. So I'm doing an old person dog, so I'm giving him some funny overalls and a collared shirt, um, and uh, maybe like make him in an old person kind of house, but it's totally up to you. You could do a Harry Potter dog. You could do a ballerina dog. You could do a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory blue dog. Um, anything you can come up with. I've seen so many good ideas. Once you're finished with the pencil, then you outline everything in Sharpie. Make sure that you have both a thin and a thick Sharpie so that if you have tiny details, you can use a thin Sharpie. And if you have thick details or details that are a little bit bigger, you can use a big one. Um, please make sure you are carefully going over all the lines that you drew, going nice and slowly, using your very, very best craftsmanship. It's also important to make sure you have a messy mat underneath your drawing while you're using a Sharpie. The Sharpie can actually go through the paper and end up on the desk. So please make sure that you have that underneath. I know it's easy to forget. So here you can see I switched to my skinny Sharpie for those little details, um, going back and forth between the thick and the thin. When I'm all done with my Sharpie, I erase. There's big pink erasers um, either on the card or the back table. And you can go over all of those lines that you didn't quite get so it looks a little bit neater with better craftsmanship in the end. When you're all done, you can put it in the turning box.